There are about 293,000 hate crimes each year. A hate crime is defined as a crime motivated by racial, sexual, or other prejudice. Per the NYPD, there has been a huge spike in hate crimes since Donald Trump's election. And while far more press is given to Trump supporters, incidents like this one draw much less media attention based on my research. Earlier this month, a Facebook Live video streamed showing a mentally disabled white teen being tortured while assailants yelled anti-white and anti-Trump slurs at the Chicago man. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened and how the media reacted to it. Earlier this month, an unnamed victim was dropped off at a McDonald's so he could hang out with his friend, Jordan Hill, for the weekend. Hill and three other African-American teens picked up the special needs victim in a stolen van where he was tied up and taken to an apartment on the west side of Chicago. At the apartment, the captors streamed a Facebook Live video of the man cowering in a corner while he was being tortured. It showed him being kicked and hit repeatedly while they were yelling, F Donald Trump and F white people. His scalp was cut. He was forced to drink toilet water and told to bash Trump at knife point. The man was finally able to escape after a neighbor threatened to call the cops. The neighbors reported that the four barged into their apartment, giving the man time to escape. Police finally encountered the disoriented, bloodied man walking down the street wearing only an inside-out tank top and jeans shorts, despite the frigid weather. Investigated fi investigators figured out that the man was held for at least 24 hours, possibly as long as 48 hours. Now, what could have motivated these four individuals to commit a crime like this? Despite all of the anti-Trump slurs, authorities don't believe this was politically motivated. Chicago Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson claims, I think some of it is just stupidity. People just ranting about something that they think might make a headline. The woman recording the video was upset that the live stream wasn't getting more attention. Although authorities believe it wasn't politically motivated, they filed hate crime charges because of the man's diminished mental capacity and because of the racial remarks made on the video. Many who saw the video blamed the Black Lives Matter movement and the hashtag BLM kidnapping was all over Twitter. However, many Chicago police slammed this notion immediately. Former President Barack Obama also saw the video and commented on it, describing it as despicable and suggesting that it was a hate crime. In summary, the white special needs teen was streamed on Facebook Live being tortured and the media portrayed it to be a hate crime. The four suspects have been charged in connection with the crime. As for the victim, his family say he's doing as well as can be expected and he will recover from his injuries completely. Former Chicago officer Dimitri Roberts claimed, we cannot respond to hate with hate. It will only perpetuate the cycle.